Welcome back, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video you will be learning how to create a loop in Blue Prism. Let's get right into it. So let's open up a process and let's create a loop. To create a loop, the first thing that we need to do is create a collection. So to create a collection, we just drag and drop it. What is a collection? A collection can store multiple data items so it can store information like a table a collection is actually exactly like a table so let's create a table inside of this collection so you should keep in mind that there is two things that you can do you can either import a collection from an outside source and auto generate a collection or you can create it manually in our example we are going to create it manually we need to create a few table headers. So this that I'm creating here, this would be table headers. So for example, name, number, and tab. So we created three columns. One of them is going to be a text. The other one is going to be a number. And the last one is going to be also a number. Now, initial values, let's add some initial values. So let's just add the number 1, 5, 3, and 8. So we have four records inside of our table. So just to recap, once again, we have just created a, uh, uh, a table inside of Blue Prism. And now we are going to create a loop that is going to go through this table and do some calculations for every row inside of the table. To do that, we need to add the loop. Let's add a calculation stage. So what we'll do, we'll do that every time the, uh, the process goes through the loop, it will add one to a number, to a variable, to a number. So let's take data three and let's take data three and add one to it. Excellent. All right. Data three, let's set it to zero. Let's connect all the different steps, refresh this process and run it. Oh, we see that we have an error for each loop must specify a collection. So what I forgot to do is inside of the loop that I created, I forgot to add the collection that is going to reference this loop. So in case we have different collections, we, and we can have different loops as well. So this is what I mean, for example, and let me add a few collections as well. So now that we click on this loop, we can select the collection that we want. All right. Let's refresh the process. And now the process should run without any problems. We see that it's incremented. It should arrive until number four, and then it should exit the loop because there is four rows inside of our table. Cool. This is the basic functionality of loops. This is how they work. This is how collections work in a nutshell. There is much more to it, uh, but in this video, I just wanted to give you an overview, a high level overview of how collections work in Blue Prism and how you can create uh, loops or cycles. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas or suggestions about my content, what I should improve, what I should work on, any kinds of videos that you would like to see, please leave me a comment in the messages below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Have a great day.